the Hacienda and United We Stream Greater Manchester are putting on a stay-at-home rave to raise money for charity. And uh, starring in the virtual lineup is none other but Peter Hook, co-founder of Joy Division and New Order, and he joins me now. Um, Peter, very great pleasure to have you on Sky News. Tell us a bit more about this. This is going to effectively be a 12-hour rave. Yes, it's uh, pretty standard for us here in Manchester um, throughout the past, I have to say. We're, we've working with uh, Mr Burnham, who's a, a great supporter of, of the arts, I must say. So it's been an absolute pleasure to work with him and Sasha Lord in getting this together. The idea is, is that we bring the party to you so you can just sit there, stay safe, make sure nobody gets in any trouble, just be calm, enjoy yourself for 12 hours if you can. And uh, yeah, it's just a matter of following the guidelines and making sure that we don't put anybody in any danger, which is the most important thing. Yeah, and mind boggles at the thought of a load of uh, people my age raving in their, in their living rooms. Just tell us a bit about what's on the bill, if you would. Well, it's the stalwarts of the Hacienda, the people that DJ'd while the Hacienda was open. It was open for 15 years in the uh, Acid House period. So it's quite well known. It's still very popular these days with the classical concerts that we do around the country. So yeah, we've got a big following. The, uh, the DJs have been very, very supportive of it with their social media has really come into its own on this, you know. The interesting thing is, is that you're usually trying to capture the atmosphere of a rave, which is about the people so now the people have got a chance to comment to uh, interact with the website if they go on united we stream greater manchester so then you're not you know you're not uh, apart from it you're included in it as well and these djs are great friends of mine they're great performers this is great music a great era for music so i'm looking forward to it i'll tell you it's going to be the highlight of my weekend yeah for many people's weeks i'm sure and uh, peter it's free isn't it but people can donate if they want to what what, what does that what does the donation go towards the donation is a variety of charities they're all on the website for people to look at we're, we're very good at spreading it around. We've also had a great deal of money already, which is fantastic considering we've not even been on yet. So hopefully we'll be able to do another one in the next weeks coming to carry on supporting these great, great charities. It's a, it's a very strange time that we're in, the way that, you know, it's more important than ever to support these charities. They need our help more than ever. It, it, there's a really nice um, sort of coming full circle about this, isn't there? Because I know the Hacienda uh, really entrenched Manchester on, on the music map, didn't it? At a time of real economic hardship, it gave people from, you know, all creeds somewhere to go, something to do. And now it's coming back again at a time of need. It is. I mean, it was opened for the misfits in Manchester, very much like myself. Just oh, coming never. out of punk. <laughs> to go. No, it's true at that time. Uh, it revolutionised the way that clubbing was done in Manchester. You know, it was a very, um, I, I don't know what to describe, very posh way of working with the, with the clubs. You had to wear a jacket and tie. Uh, people like punks, like me coming straight from punk, had nowhere to go. We weren't allowed into these places. The Hacienda through Tony Wilson and through Rob Gretton was done very altruistically to give these people a home and we did you know we brought them all in and we we had the cheapest beer in manchester <laughs> <laughs> for any other reason in that we it was all we could afford you know so the thing is is that you know that you don't get many clubs that entertained a city uh, at, for, at their own expense for 15 years as the hacienda did so yeah i mean we are coming round this is about bringing people together uh, we have a shared joy in music and a shared joy in what the Hacienda stood for. And all the DJs are still very behind that ethic. Graham Park in particular, who's become my partner over the years. You know, it's, it's a great way of working. And whenever I see people, young and old, don't forget, you know, I'm amazed by how many youngsters are so entranced by the story of the Hacienda. I, I did write a book about it, but I don't want to plug the book on it. But, you know, the, it is a very, very unique happening, the Hacienda. And these people that will be watching will be learning more about it if they don't already know it and will be enjoying it for what it was and still is over the weekend. And again, the message must be made. I'm self-isolating. I have been for five weeks now because I've, I've had triple pneumonia. I've got asthma. I've, I have to be very, very careful about what I do. So the message has to be look after yourselves, look after the people around you. I've already lost a granddad this week, Derek Larry Bates, 
And that was very sad to lose him to coronavirus. So we know what everybody's going through that's suffering with a bereavement at this time. So please be careful. Please stay in. United we stream Greater Manchester. Let's have it. Well, very many condolences to you, Peter, on, on, on your grandfather. And you're, you're not alone, are you? I mean, lots of people uh, around the country have losing friends and, and family. Um, on, on a lighter note, you talked about Andy Burnham, the mayor of Manchester, obviously, and his support for this. Um, I read that he claimed that he used to go to the Hacienda in, in the 80s and 90s. I can't imagine that. Can you? <laughs> well, we, we had some very strange people there, it has to be said. So. <laughs> Uh, and we, we didn't differentiate, you know, if anybody came, everybody was welcome from anybody at the top to the bottom. There was no VIP area, nothing like that. It was a simply about us all being together and looking after each other. I mean, it had a very checkered history and a, a checkered past at that time, which this isn't the time to go into that. You know, so, but the, it was about bringing people together and it was about being equal and it was about sharing the opportunities that those meetings were, were to give you. You know, I mean, we've, we've had to forgo the meeting part, but as I said when I did my uh, blurb for it yesterday, there will be a time when we do meet and the Hacienda is great at bringing old and young together and having a great time, forgetting all our problems just for those hours, those couple of hours. And that, that's what I hope what this achieves. Yeah, music is what we all need, isn't it, at the moment? And I have to say, all the people I've been interviewing have had a great array of books behind them, but I'm very happy to see your selection of CDs there. I haven't seen CDs for a very long time. So thank you for cheering me up with that. I've been the going through my old CDs. I won't ask you what you've got up there. <laughs> I bet it's cooler than my collection anyway. Uh, Peter, very good to talk to you. Thank you very much for your time and stay well. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye.